And I want to give you a little bit of a sense of scale of what these numbers mean, because it's still a little bit hard to appreciate what it means to be light years apart. So this is my favorite analogy. Um, my hat is off to Dr. Scott Fisher from the University of Oregon, who gave me this idea. Um, as far as I know, he's the inventor of this scale system, but maybe not. In this scale system, when I'm trying to humanize distances, um, the sun is a grapefruit. All right, so my sun is a grapefruit, and if my sun is a grapefruit, then Earth is the size of a, the tip of a ballpoint pen. So, you know, like a one millimeter ballpoint pen or something like that. Um, about 100 times, 100 Earths would fit across the sun in terms of diameter. And if I want to measure the size of our solar system, I'm going to go ahead and drop the sun in the end zone of a football field. And if I do that, then the Earth orbits about 10 yards away. All right, so that distance is called 1 AU. It's a distance that is defined as the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. Um, and that ends up being about 1 and a half times 10 to the 11 meters. So on our football field scale, I'm going to keep going and show you the extent of the entire solar system. Um, I guess I'll measure out to Pluto, even though that's not any sort of official edge to our solar system. But Pluto's orbit would require four football fields of distance between it and the sun, if our sun's a grapefruit. And so this is, you know, four football fields. Okay, well, then that's about, you know, um, about 40 AU away. The total diameter of the solar system you can think of as about 100 AU. That's about right. All right, and then if we want to get to the nearest star, we have to go a lot further than four football fields. If we want to get to the nearest star, we have to go across the country. So if I place one grapefruit star, the sun, in San Francisco, then grapefruit Alpha Centauri ends up in Washington, DC. So this just goes to show that the space between stars is a lot, lot bigger than the space between planets in our solar system, right? The entire width of the country is a heck of a lot bigger than the width of a few football fields. All right. So um, the distance to Andromeda is even farther than the distance between stars. So we were just at 4.4 light years to go from the Sun to Alpha Centauri. But if we want to get to the next nearby galaxy, we have to go two and a half million light years to get there. And once we do get there, it's 100,000 light years across. So lots of space to reckon with within galaxies. Galaxies are made of, you know, I'm not sure exactly how many, billions, trillions of stars. Um, and so there's you know, a lot of stuff within each of these galaxies. But as we see when we look at the distance to Alpha Centauri, there's a lot of empty space between them as well.